So hi everyone, my name is Cyrus. Yeah, I still have the same name. Um, so today I'm going to show you how you can actually download and use um, the new software, um, the new program that just came out, which is SolarStat. So SolarStat is basically, like I said on the README, a Minecraft proxy server for iPixel. So it's like a start overlay, but better. What I mean by that is that it's going to fetch from connected players on your actual Minecraft and fetch their stat. Which means when you learn, oh gosh, <laughs> I closed the game. It's not what I mean to do. So if my dev build can actually, okay, there we go, thank you. Yeah, dev builds are very slow. <laughs> So, solar stat. Um, so for now, as it's going to be included in solar tricks v4, like I said, somewhere here, it's created in solar tricks v4. So for now, you have to build it yourself. So let's go out that thing. Let's just make sure my screen is still recording. Yes, it does. Okay. So when you launch on iPixel, when you play on iPixel, you will see when you launch, for example, a bridge game, you will see that the game is actually, the player is actually nicked, like his name is actually obfuscated, and you can't really much deal with this. So I created a proxy to intercept packets between the client and iPixel. And one of those packets actually includes the UUID of the player. So with the iPixel API, I can fetch the player's statistics and I can send you back the statistic to the client using the chat. And because it's a proxy, I can actually send comments to iPixel. I can actually create custom comments for your game. So that's one of the comments I created. I'm going to show you this later. So the first thing we're going to do is to clone the project extra. So as you can see on the readme, we have a building from source part. So let's copy the command. There we go. So for this, you must have git install. So you can download it on internet. That's free on Linux, like on Ubuntu, like distros, you can um, install it using apt. And on Windows, you can just download the through the website. So open a terminal and paste the command. So it will clone SolarStat into um, into a new directory. So we can now change the directory to SolarStat directory. And as I said, uh, so here there we go. I need to have Node.js installed. So we need. Um, so version LTS, which stands for long time support, um, is actually version 16.13.1. So you can check your version by doing node dash dash version. I, as you can see, I have the latest version, but you can download the latest one from the website. So once the once this is downloaded, you can, as I said, install the dependencies. So let's do this. Well, start downloading everything from the npm package repository mm -hmm. can take some time actually it's downloading all the packets for minecraft okay there we go and you can now build the project using npm run build so now let's open the folder and you will see um you will see inside a file called config.example.json-c. So a json-c is basically a json with comments, but as it says in the file name, it's the example file. So let's instead create a new file. So let's do that using code actually. It's better. No, I do not trust my own code. So 
create a new file that we're going to call config.json and we can copy the comment from the github repo so of course remove the comments that's kind of logic so here I'm going to explain every field even if it's um, explained in the configuration section of the readme but yeah so here you will need to put your ipixel api key so let's take my api key so you can run slash api in your game so as it says you already have an api key you are you sure you want to regenerate it so click to run that um slash api new so as I have some programs that are already linked to an old API key, I'm just going to get one from the configuration file I already have. So of course, I'm going to change it after because, um, because I'm going to show it. So it's in the config file, as you can see. So that's my API key, there we go. So, here it's the settings for the auto dodge so actually let's relaunch the game i close it for some reason i think okay so basically auto dodge is basically a feature to um well auto dodge <laughs> that's kind of self-explanatory so if for example the player you are fighting against is nicked well, it will dodge your game. So for um, dummies over here, dodging game is basically just keeping the player. So launch another game. So um, on iPixel, you also have something called statistics, which is basically what solar stat is displaying. And one of them is win streak. So if you don't know what a win streak is, um, it's probably right here. There we go. So win streak. L let me take a screenshot. So a win streak is when you wins, uh, when you win games in a row. So as you can see, my current win streak. Okay, thank you, obvious. So my current win streak in bridge is ten, which means the last ten games I played, I won them in a row. And my best win streak is 104, which means the best number I had here was 104. And you can actually, so that's the stats showed when you fight people, the message showed when you fight someone. But if, for example, the win streak is higher than 10 or the best win streak is higher than 25, you can auto dodge. So you can say, for example, if the best win streak of the guy I'm fighting against is 35, then it's going to auto dodge. And if the current win streak of the guy is higher than 15, it's going to auto dodge. Of course, you can disable and enable the next thing. You can completely disable auto dodge. And you can also whether or not to send stats. So what I mean by that is that when you dodge a game, it will actually check for those requirements before sending the message. Which means if you, um, if you, so if solar stats detect um, a not a dodge, it will not send the stats message. But you can, if you want them for some reason, you can enable them. So I'm going to put a very low number actually to demonstrate it. So win streak of uh, 55 and a best win streak of 10. So now that the configuration is set up, we can actually run the software. Just do npm run store and it will store the proxy. So just have to wait. As you can see, proxy stored it. So if I click on disconnect, I can add a new server um, with a pour. So 25556 and so for people who are wondering what this IP is, it's just my local host, okay? So if I use like ping 
stats dash proxy dot ipixel dot net she i missed yeah, there you guys you can see it's pointing to 127.001 and why i made that is basically when i spoofed the ip of my local host with um with a domain name looking like ipixel.net well it learner basically enables um ipixel bots so when i log in using the proxy as you can see it says first time signing in please authenticate now to sign in use a web browser to open the page da -da 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 -da, and enter the code and a code to authenticate so actually let's open the code and let's enter the code there we go so as you can see it's logging to my wrong email so i'm going to put that in an incognito window where I will be able to actually log in. So as you can see, it crashed because um. So why it crashed? Because you timed out. So let's redo it again. I'm going to try to be faster this time. As you can see, I'm going to log into my account. To my Minecraft account. There we go. Hope it's this. Yes. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, I got signed in with Microsoft and it connected to proxy. So now this login is saved, which means if you reset proxy, so if you restart it, you can do it by pressing Ctrl and C, or you can close the window. As you can see, well, it will auto reconnect you. Um, for people who are wondering, um, those information, so your um, auth account stra it's, is or stored in the dot Minecraft directory in the npm cache. That's where the data is stored. So for now, because I play on a migrated account, I need to log um to log in with. Microsoft, so which means I hard coded that part. So if you have a Mojang account, unfortunately, you will not be able to use SolarStats unless you manually edit the code, which is pretty simple though. But yeah. So let me demonstrate how it works. So right now, I'm going to play a game of Purge. As you can see, it says 2 2. So when the game is full, it will send a message like this SolarStats. Um, looking kind of nice to be honest with the player name. Of course, if the player has a rank or not, it will display it. And we can see his stat for the corresponding game mode. So I launched um a game of Breach one v one. So he showed my on uh, his one v one stats. If I launch into in um into the two v two game, it will show people two v 2s stats. So that's kind of nice. For now, not a lot of like games are um, done. So if I go to, I think I remember them. It's so actually all the bridge games are done. All the UHE duels and sumo duels. So if I click on sumo, as you can see, it show me it shows me these guys stats. So let's do that. There we go. So now let's try to hop in a game where. Um, he has good stats, so the auto dodge works. Let me check um, how much I put in the config. I put 10 and 5. So let's. So, as you can see, it said dodging. So, what happened here? Why am I not in the new game? Well, that's completely normal because when you or dodging it basically sends a message so a comment like you're typing slash play with the current game mode you are playing on but maybe you just clicked into that button which is triggering that same comment maybe you made your way using the um, ipixel quick play mode which is also triggering that comment so maybe you are in cooldown may which means you can't use the comment anymore so to prevent yourself still being in the game while solar stats tried to dodge that game, it will send you to the lobby. 
And if for some reason the lobby command is also in cooldown, it will kick you from the proxy, saying, yeah, timeout. So as you say, as you saw, sending you back to lobby because of timeout, 200 milliseconds, which basically is two seconds. So if the next two seconds after the dodging, if I'm not in a new game, it will just send me back to the lobby. And why I got, well, dodged that game, because the player I was fighting against was nicked. As you can see, it says one player is nicked. And if I hover for more information, we dodged this game for you because one or more were nicked. So I actually messed up in the typo. Um, the second light should be green and I forgot the play word. I'm going to fix that later. But yeah, light's fine. Um, and also, for some reason, it sent me the message. But I have sensed that on false, which kind of weird. But yeah, so let's try to find it game so as you can see I got kicked out again and as you can see that guy was pretty good so if I hover for more information it says we dodged this game for you because one of more players have good stats it says me how like the numbers I put in a configuration which are basically win streak at least five and best win streak at least ten and after it says um the players I was fighting against um stats so he had a win streak of 0 and a best win streak of 23, which basically is why. So yeah, also if you don't want to use O to dodge but you want to trigger manual dodge, I put two commands for dodging, which are basically such dodge. And okay, it put me into uh, a game. <laughs> okay, why not? And slash D, which basically saying dodging so sending you back to lobby because of timeout da -da 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 -da. but yeah it should send you um back to a game so actually there is still a lot of bugs actually right now the dodge command should not work but for some reason it sends you it sent me in a lobby which was supposed to send me to send a message saying um you're not in a game but those bugs should be fixed when it will be released for Solar Twix V4. So that's kind of pre-release. Um, be aware that Solar Stat features may be Solar Plus exclusive. We're not really decided yet about how we're going to not make it lucrative because it's not our goal, but make it make Solar Plus profitable for um, people who want to support our work. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any question, of course, about solar stats, feel free to open a ticket. But be aware that since solar stat is still in development, I don't really know if we're going to enter your ticket quickly. And also, one thing you can notice is that the repo is public. And also, you can see the project, which is basically like a Trello, but on GitHub. So you can see that one. It's basically easier to see. So there's a to-do list and in progress list. By the way, I can put that here. And yeah, you can see what is going on and what's going to what's planned and what's going to be added next. So I think that's it for me. That's actually a pretty long video. Um yeah, 18 minutes. But yeah. So see you see you later, maybe. Um planning insane stuff for Solar Tweaks V4. So, see ya, have a good day. Happy New Year, by the way. See ya.